Good morning, everyone. Well, here I am back on a Wednesday rather than a Tuesday. For some reason, my Mondays have fallen apart and I haven't been able to get my videos and stuff done. So we're going to go for Wednesday today. Uh, my name is Sherry Minnie. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Colorado, small rural town of Keensburg, which is about 45 minutes northeast of uh, Denver. And today we're going to do... Uh, a masculine card I have decided that for my July class cards uh, we are going to do all masculine theme because I get so many requests for please can we have masculine themed cards also trying to make them very generic so that they could be used for just about any occasion so here's the uh, here's this one and I actually did the inside on this one uh, I chose various stamp sets to do the front greetings and then, oh, this one I don't have inside. I think it, this one is. So this one says that every turn of life may you find adventure. And then it's a good day to have a good day. And that way, if you wanted to do happy birthday or whatever, you could just write it down here. And then I did one with a hello. So I'll show you the products that we're using. Um, for once, I think everything I'm using is current. So that's a good thing. So the bundle that I'm featuring is the called Gone Fishing, definitely uh, a masculine, but also I know women, some women like to fish. I'm not one of those, but it's a really nice, fun set with really uh, neat um, framelits, and, or dies now we're calling them, sorry. I, know I sometimes slip back into the old terminology. So we'll be using um, these two. One is the lure and uh, yeah, I don't even know. I think this is a bobber. I don't even know fishing terminology, so don't rely on what I'm saying. Um, then I'm doing, for the uh, greeting on the front, we'll be using a stylish shape circle, and I'm going to be using this one right here. I, I use different sizes depending on what kind of greeting that I chose. And then for the front focal point piece will this piece right here will be using the uh, country side corners and we'll be using the third from the largest and guess what I didn't even bring it over here so but we'll get it well I'll I already have one cut out so we're okay on that and then this the uh, greeting that I'm using today is going to be hello there and I actually got that out of this stamp set which is called around the bed We'll be using two ink colors uh, today. One is the Wild Wheat, not my most favorite, but in little little bits, it's good and it is a good masculine color. And then we'll be using Misty Moonlight. Okay, and I think that's it. So we'll also be using a little bit of uh, Baker's Twine. I didn't bring that over, but I have it. It'll, it'll be a piece like this. And we'll just tie that on the the lure, I think you call that. I don't know. <laughs> so, of course, you have your envelope. We have a piece of Misty Moonlight, and I cut this one a little bit differently. This one is four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. So, we'll have a uh, longer uh, card. So, I'll just get this folded. I don't often do this um, style, but I. I need to give a shout out to Mary Dethridge at Stamps and Lingers for the layout on this card. And actually, I think I pretty much copied it exactly the way she, I just liked the way it looked. And it fit my masculine theme. You'll have a piece, some pieces of designer series paper. This is from the Gone Fishing um, bundle, suite, whatever you want to call it. And this one is, um, let me see, this one is four and a quarter by five. And, Let's see, cause, yeah, because I'm going to cover the whole page. Sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's going to cover the whole front of our card base. Sorry, I'm not very much together today at all. And then you'll have um, some more pieces. You'll have a piece of, uh, this is Mossy Meadow. This one is two and a half by five and a half. You'll have another sheet of designer series paper. This one is two and three eighths by five and a half, and it's gonna be mounted on this piece of mossy metal. Give you a little bit of a green border. And then you'll just have a square of um, the designer series paper that we're gonna cut out this image on, that shape, okay? You'll have a piece for the inside of your card. This is 
three and three fourths by five. I'm not going to be putting sentiments on today because I haven't. I'm not sure what I want to put on mine. So we'll just be decorating this and putting it on the inside. You'll have an, another piece of very vanilla. This is to cut out your circle for your front greeting. <clears throat> You'll have a piece of uh, small, small piece of silver foil. This is to cut out the lure, and then you'll have a piece of uh, misty moonlight to cut out the other. Let's see. Maybe I don't even need misty moonlight. I guess I don't. What I need is. It's the very vanilla. Okay, and so here, and then you, you will have a teeny tiny piece because you see right here we'll be cutting that out, and that's just going to be glued onto the silver foil. So to get started, we're going to get all of our stamping out of the way first, um, and we'll see what kind of a adventure we'll go on today. So to begin with, we're going to stamp our um, greeting, and I have chosen just one that says hello there and we're going to stamp that in the wild wheat and this is a photopolymer set so I usually like to take put a little spongy pad underneath it okay I'm going to stamp it kind of in the middle okay and then we will take, where did I put my circle? Okay, well, I took the circle off somewhere, I think, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Let me check. Yep, I did. But I laid it somewhere. Anyway, we're going to take a circle die, cut it out, and you're going to end up with something that looks like this, okay? Then also on this one, we're going to take our... Um, whatever you call this, the bobber, lure, I don't know what these are. And we're going to stamp the outside. And this is a two-step stamp. And then we'll have the misty moonlight for the inside. And all you do is you take this to get a little bit closer to me and you're going to line it up and stamp on the inside of the and hopefully you get it lined up yeah I did pretty well on that one congratulations to me <laughs> okay and then what you'll do there is we have this little um, tiny piece uh, die that goes and cuts that out like that okay and I have, I hope, yes, and you'll end up with something like, that looks like this, okay? And then you have the piece of uh, silver foil. Somehow I'm missing all my pieces because I know I had that. Oh, here it is. And we'll have this die cut, or I'm sorry, this die, and you'll put that on here and we'll run it through and you're going to get something that looks like this okay then you'll take the small piece of misty moonlight really i have excuse my reach here but it's gotten underneath my card and you're going to take that and you're going to cut it out again but the only piece we're going to use is this piece that's right there and that ends up looking like a very tiny little piece if i can get it out of here that looks like that okay and then for your envelope we're going to do the exact same uh, treatment as we did here we're going to stamp the uh, wild wheat and I just put it down here in the corner Take the misty moonlight again. And this one, I had more trouble on the envelope than I did on the actual card. Don't ask me why. Just maybe my lighting is not the best or something. 
there you go there's that okay i think that's it for the stamping um like i say i'm not i'm not using um an inside oh there's my circle right there hiding from me i'm not using um the um I'm not stamping the inside. I'm sorry, I gotta concentrate here. I'm not stamping the inside because I'm not sure what occasions I'm gonna use this for. So we're gonna start putting everything together right now. So the first thing you do is you take your four and a quarter by five and a half piece of designer series paper. And we're gonna put this on the front of our card. Base, and it's going to actually cover the whole card base and there's no direction there's no pattern on this so it doesn't really matter now the way I do this and you do whatever helps you line up the best but I do it if I line it up at the top pretty much and then start lining it up down below on the side and normally I come out just about right but as you can see on this one I'm gonna to have to do it whoops a little bit of trimming it looks like oops and I didn't get it very straight let's try this again I'll even turn it over okay line it at the top make sure everything is lined up there and then go down the side there we go now if you have a little bit of overhang whether it's on the card the card base I don't worry too much that's just such a tiny bit I'm not even going to trim it off but if it were more you could just take your trimmer and cut cut it off Okay, then we're going to take this piece. We are going to apply it to the mist, uh, mossy meadow. Again, trying to keep uh, the same size border so you line it up at the top, or this is how I do it. And I just kind of look over at the edges to make sure that I'm pretty close. And then I try to go down straight all the way down. Okay. Then we'll put this to the front of our card. And we'll just try to uh, get it centered. I need to put a little more glue, I think. And so I use my grid paper and kind of see how many um, squares I have and it looks like three on each side is just about right so there's three on this side there's three on that side and then I just put it down okay now we're going to take this piece this is what we cut out of uh, the designer series paper and we are going to pop it up on dimensionals How's the weather and where everybody lives here in Colorado? We're going through a heat stretch. And uh, one of the reasons I didn't film yesterday is because I got my card and everything together so late. And I, my office is where I feel these, film these videos. And it's the only room in our house that we don't really have air conditioning in. And by the time I got done, it was just too hot. I couldn't even come in here and, and film. So I thought, okay, I'll get up and get it done first thing. Wednesday morning, so that's what I'm attempting to do. So let me find my pokey tool. There we go. We'll take these off. And kind of center this. There's really no right or wrong. Uh, these lures I think these are go any any direction so you don't really have to worry I just kind of use the edge of my uh, plaid there to line it up and hopefully get somewhat straight although the, oh I guess it I don't look doesn't look to me like it's super straight but I didn't take one of the backings off either okay there we go all right okay and then we will take our Hello there, and we're going to put some more adhesive. I had mistakenly put adhesive on that, so. <laughs> and 
And this one I'm just centering in the middle of this. The other ones, I they were a little bit bigger, but this one we're just going to kind of center in the middle. And then we have to work on our little um, accent pieces that I'm trying very hard not to lose. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this itty bitty piece and I'm going to actually use my tweezers and I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to hope that my green cap glue will work for me today and not come out in a big gob because you just want a little teeny, there we got it, okay, just want a little teeny tiny bit and there is a um, hole on here on the bottom, I, can't, I don't know if you can, you can probably see that, can't you? I think you can. I'm just going to, and I want this at an angle, so I'm just going to line it up over that hole, except that I got glue in the hole, and I'm not so sure it's going to work. I have my nice clean rag here. Oh, there, I got it. Okay. Push it up a little bit, because I want to try and line the holes up as best I can, just because I'm anal about some things. Okay. And then we will, I'm going to leave my tweezers on here so it can dry, but we're going to put little mini dimensionals on this because it's such a small piece. So, and I, I left the top, let's see, I need to poke this out. I left it, I came down a little bit from the top because we're going to stick that other uh, die cut kind of underneath. So I want a little bit of room at the top to be able to do that. Okay, I think we're probably dry enough that I can take that out. Okay, and then we're just going to put this. Clean up a little bit. We're going to put this kind of at the bottom of our greeting. We don't want to cover our greeting, kind of like so. Stick it down, and then we'll take our, what my little, oh, here it is. We'll take the lure, and this one I had to stamp twice, as you can see, I messed up, so. And we're going to take that. Now, what I did forget to do, and actually I didn't bring the right tool over here to do it, but I'll show you. So this little piece of string is to go through this hole and let me tell you it I end up I use and I don't know what they call them but the kids who have braces they're kind of the loop thing that goes around their braces I guess it's very fine plastic uh, I just stick this through that loop and run it through there and then you're just going to tie it into a little knot I'm not going to be able to do that because I forgot to bring that over and I cannot get it through that part there so that is the only thing that won't be done on that card and so we are and then we will take our inside piece that I've, and I didn't stamp on that. Yeah. We weren't, I thought we were done stamping, but we weren't. Let's go back. We're just going to do the same. Oh, did I? No, I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Let's do this real quick. How am I doing on time? Not too bad. And again, we're going to do the same thing as we did on our envelope. Misty Moonlight for the center. I have my window open, so if you hear that backup beep or what you hear is the skidsters that are, my husband's working around on stuff outside, so I'm not gonna, my light is, okay, there we go, it's not too bad. All right, and then this, I'm not gonna put it down because I wanna stamp it first, but this will go on the inside. And what I'm gonna do is go through my stamp sets, like I said, and just pick out some generic greetings that I can use. So that's it for today, ladies. Thank you so much for uh, taking some of your time today and or this evening and watching my video. I hope you have a blessed uh, rest of the day or evening and may God bless each and every one of you and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.